begin this morning with the latest developments for you in campaign 2008. Well, this is the showdown. Rhode Islanders and also voters from Texas, Ohio and Vermont all going to the polls in what will likely be a history making day for the presidential candidates. And Mark Zinni is covering this morning's top story for us live from the Providence Mobile Newsroom at the Board of Elections. And Mark, you mentioned some action over there starting this morning at the uh, Board of Elections. Yeah, Pam, some folks have started to show up here along Branch Avenue within the past few minutes or so. Here in Rhode Island, though, the first polling stations begin opening in less than an hour now at 7 o'clock. The times vary 7 to 8 o'clock tonight. They all close, however, at 9. And tonight, we could very well know who the Democratic candidate will be. Obviously, the race between Hillary, and Hillary Clinton and Barack Obama has been one that's really been all over the headlines the past few weeks. Hillary Clinton once called the inevitable candidate. Now we're not so sure that's the case. Uh, she has not taken Rhode Island for granted. Clinton was here for a rally more than a week ago. And she does continue to hold a lead, though, among the state's Democrats. A recent exclusive WPRI 12 RIPolitics.tv poll just showed the former first lady does hold a nine-point lead over Barack Obama. However, and this is key, 11% of the voters here in Rhode Island still say they're undecided, at least that was just according to the other day. Now, that's obviously a number that could benefit Barack Obama. He's hoping to clinch his front-runner status tonight. The Illinois senator arrived in Rhode Island this past weekend trying to increase his chances of carrying the state and its 21 delegates, or at least as many of them as he can get. Obama hopes the support from both senators from Massachusetts, as well as Rhode Island Congressman Patrick Kennedy, will help him win Rhode Island. As for the Republicans, you know, this story isn't so exciting right now. The frontrunner, John McCain, is pretty much a done deal right now. At least they're saying he likely will be tonight. Senator McCain was in Warwick a few weeks ago where he gained support from Governor Don Kachiri and fellow Republicans there. McCain's lead is almost a lock in total delegates, but who he'll run against is the big question. Now, you know, this is the hardest job in the world we're talking about. I'm asking you to consider hiring me for the hardest job in the world. Imagining and then fighting for what did not seem possible before. And that is the moment that we are in right now. That's the opportunity that we have. I'm so grateful you are all here, and I'm so proud to be back in the state of Rhode Island. And it really is a Navy town, and it really is a patriotic town, and it really is a great state. To give you some idea here, for Republicans, their uh, primary process is kind of winner take all. So John McCain is expected to uh, cross that threshold tonight, ultimately making him the GOP presidential uh, candidate for the upcoming elections. However, where the Democrats are concerned, that's why this is so tricky. They uh, split delegates in states that they win, which is why Barack Obama has almost a 1,000 lead, delegate lead to Hillary Clinton. And some are saying, really, at this point, it may be impossible for her to gain on him. Of course, this is far from over. Hillary Clinton, I saw her on TV last night making it clear she's not going anywhere and she doesn't have plans to no matter what happens tonight. Count on Eyewitness News for continuing campaign 2008 coverage. We have crews all over the state today. We'll have the most complete coverage coming up tonight. Pam? Oh, yeah, it's going to be a long and exciting day.